Hi guys, I just wanted to hop on real quick and share with you a presentation that I put together for girls wrestling and at the high school level. Um, as some of you know, I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and wrestle um, competitively. So I have an invested interest in building up um, a girls wrestling team at all high schools. It is one of the fastest growing high school sports. So maybe this presentation will be helpful to some of you who are also looking to expand um, female interest in the sport of wrestling. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. So why girls wrestling? There's a lot of reasons. A couple include college applications, self-defense, being the top sport for conditioning, supporting women's sports, and low-cost fun. Let's get into the first reason, which is college applications. Female wrestling is the fastest growing high school sport, but the pool is still very small. So colleges will look at this on your resume and see you as someone who is unique, who is mentally tough, and someone who might be an immediate asset to them because they don't have enough wrestlers yet. The likelihood of you being cut is very low due to high demand. This is similar to a student who plays a unique instrument such as, I don't know, bassoon. Okay, there's not a lot of bassoon players, so that becomes an immediate asset to a college. So you will stand out for sure. Here's a graph of the current, um, well, until 2018, participation and growth, and it's only going to exponentially increase from here. The second reason is self-defense. You will feel a sense of confidence, safety, mental toughness. You will demand a certain level of respect. And I know for myself personally, when I tell people that I'm a wrestler, they're mostly shocked and they say, okay, jokingly, oh, I'm not gonna mess with you, but it's true. Wrestling will get you into the best shape of your life. So if you ever wanted a six pack, this is the sport that will get you there. Um, no sport compares to the full body exertion that you will get as a wrestler. Many um, other athletes will use wrestling as a form of off-season training. There is a weight class for everyone, so don't worry about what you're weighing right now. We will teach you about proper nutrition and hydration to make sure that you meet whatever requirements for a weight class. And spring athletes, if you are a spring athlete, this is the top preseason conditioning sport for you. Okay, supporting female sports. So currently it is a, do a male dominated sport and we need more women to have our own divisions to make sure that we have enough appropriate training partners that are our size and weight and similar level of experience, okay? The more women that we have, the less chance there is that we would have to spar against a guy in the practice room or in a tournament. This is probably one of the lowest cost sports that you could get involved in. All the uniform and gear is provided for you. The only real cost that you have is your wrestling shoes. And um, if you wear braces, maybe you have to invest in a mouth guard, which is like 10 bucks on Amazon. So lots of fun for minimal cost. Some concerns or worries you might be having. Number one, do I have to wear a singlet? No, this is a myth. You can choose to compete in a singlet if that's what you're comfortable in, but we that is old school. You can train in whatever you're comfortable in. You can wrestle in fight shorts and rash guards. Next, will I get hurt? The likelihood of you getting hurt as a wrestler is just as likely as any other sport if not statistically less than certain sports such as soccer or football, okay? Actually, soccer is probably one of the highest injury rates, especially in the ACL, um, LCL area, okay? So you have a lot less to worry about. We also work with you in a way to make sure you're paired with appropriate size partners and to minimize, you know, we're very mindful of that. Do I have to wrestle men? No. If you are the only girl on the team that day, maybe other girl is out or something, I will always be there to make sure you have a female to train with. We are conscious of the fact that some women are not allowed to train with um, other men for maybe religious or cultural reasons as well. 
Will there be other female adults in the room? Yes, I will be there as a force of presence. Can I actually succeed with zero experience prior? Absolutely. You don't have to worry about being good or not or having any prior experience. We will make you good. All you need to do is show up and we'll take care of the rest. We will give you all the technique that you need to do well. Here's an example of what female wrestlers train with. Danielle Kelly is um, on UFC and she also wrestles. You can train in sweats, fight shorts, leggings, whatever you're comfortable with. You can make it cute, braid your hair. This is Heaven Fetch. She is um, recently one of the first female wrestlers to become a state high school wrestling champion um, so you'll you can watch a whole video on Fox about her and this is he Helen Marula she is a very well renowned female Olympic wrestler Dan Gable one of the best icons of all time says once you've wrestled everything else in life is easy and it couldn't be more true um, if you can make it through wrestling you can make it through anything and just to conclude this presentation, I wanted to also add that um, because the pool is so low still, keep in mind that most girls won't have more experience than you, if not less experience when they're first starting. So if you're interested in joining high school wrestling, the chances that um, some of the females you might be going up against or training with have been doing this since they're little kids is very low. Um, the other thing to consider is that if you are going to be training in a practice room full of guys, most of the time they take the, the sport very seriously and uh, will be very respectful to you as well. At least that's what I have seen in my experience in New Jersey. All right, have a great day.